Welcome back to another video of the Dimensionalist. I'm a Dimensionalist. Look, MajorLeagueRapping.com, Major League Rapping YouTube channel, y'all check it out. Today I'm just going to give y'all some examples of what it's like when I, when I, how I assert myself and, and or be assertive uh, slightly and enough to be appropriation to when I talk to ladies and stuff and chicks and chicks and things. So check this out. I wanted to mention that like it's like this. I'll give you an example of how it begins, not necessarily how far all along I am. Come leave that that part of my life to myself. You know what I'm saying? Other than what I told you on the video yesterday about the dress and things. <laughs> so, you know, live streams to the chick, right? Like this. I, I call one chick on on uh, Facebook, right? And she says, "My friend ain't here right now, right?" Or at least I know she says that in the thing first. And when I call, she's like, "I'm." uh working she's not here she left her phone so i'm instantly like hey what's up what's good like what what's your name talk to me for a second like that like hey like i don't know you but why don't you talk to me and she never did uh she did respond and talk back actually she just like giggled i was like what's up talk to me my um this is who i am i was like hey like get her attention like instantly and it's so much fun sometimes because they play along you know and they talk and they talk back and the thing is they don't like be expecting that i just be like yo what's going on with you like instantly that's an example because to her end she's like yo this dude's already starting to talk to me <laughs> we don't even know each other and it's just on the phone but you can't do that with like every single conversation with every person you talk to ever on the phone i just seen an opportunity because if i felt like i could assert it there and she was cool with it I was like, all right, then, that's cool. Talk to you later. Because cause that's who she was. So, yeah. Uh, so, basically, that's like one. One, I told this one chick, I was like, yo. she didn't." I said, what's up? And she didn't respond. And I said, yo, you got, I was like, I said her name and said, you got the look. I was like, Amy, you got the look. Uh, what's up? And then she responded and said, this is who I am. Isn't that crazy? So that's one way I, uh, I do it. I can't give y'all the keys to success because that's determination of y'all playing out those events. So there, that's, that's the key to your success is playing out your events. One guy asked me advice and stuff on the internet. And I'm not really like the guy to ask for advice. I mean, I got, I got an image for myself and I keep that image and that's the image I build off of and don't build on at all. So my point is, dude hit me up and was like, yo, I'm having these problems. I'm like, dude, I try to explain to him that, uh, the thing I've been trying to explain to the guy was that he can choose how his life is. He has to play out those events and those sequence of things in order to play out who he is. If you don't show who you are, nothing uh, to the ladies or people in general are not going to know shit or nothing about you. Even if it is just something crazy. I got a crazy part of me, normal part of me, and then like this extreme person YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? Two types of YouTube channels. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I bring stuff into existence for myself, you know? And if what's a chick, she's there, I'm going to say, what's up? I'm like, yo, you know, I'm not going to be like waiting or some shit. Like one chick I seen from high school, her name was Maggie. And I went up to her and told her, I was like, I went to her and said, yo, I've always loved you. <laughs> like that. I was like, I wanted to tell you that I always loved you. And I knew she was married. I was like, and, uh, I was like, I got, I got major league rap and I plan on selling it one day. I was like, you should like, you know, and then, and then like, I instantly didn't let her talk. You know, she barely let her talk. I was like, yo, you're, you're red, right? Because that was her name from high school. And then I like walked away. My friend gets in the car and is like, yo, what's her name? I was like, dude, he could just came over and talk. I know if one of my friends was talking to a female, I'd go over and say what's up to him. Or just, like, be on the side or say, hey. I mean, you know, I'm not going to be, like, not... You know, there are certain things with that, too. If you got a friend or something or someone you know, it's better to people I don't know, you know, than meet the people they know, you know? And I'd be like, yo, this is who it is. But with... Females that I know in person or, or in public I meet or I see again, I stop and say hey to them. You know what I'm saying? I stop what I'm doing and I run I run my hands, uh, you know, whatever cards I can play out in reality. And I say run my hand is just, just how I just talk and do whatever, you know. I don't really have no hand or thing I play out. 
uh, to any large extent, unless I'm already planning on something. You get what I'm saying? And or I'm just going to holler at a bunch of chicks, like, consistently when I go out and say what's up. And I'm pretty good at it, but I don't really like doing it. Like last chick, she was at Food Line. I was like, what's up? And it's just like she didn't say nothing. Like, I couldn't get her to budge. And that's if I can't get a chick to budge, then I'm not going to, like, try to really say what's up after that. I was just, I think she was just studying me for a second, you know? I was like, what's up? She wasn't expecting it. She was pushing her card. She didn't say nothing. That can also be another thing. Like, you never know what's going on in her mind. She might like everything about me and not tell me. Or give me that uh, sign. Uh, she's got to look. You know, that's one song. <laughs> it's like, when I do a brown eyed girl turn blue. That shit. Oh, shit. It was one chick, right? The one I seen at Goog's party back in, like, beginning of 2017. Uh... I can't remember her name offhand, but yo, you're fine as fuck, and it was at the Riff House Pub. Yo, you gotta hit me up. You probably you might not see this video. She's gotta hit me up. Uh, she's something. She hasn't been on Facebook or something. I hope she's okay. I don't know, but she was fine as fuck, and, and one of her friends was there, and I'd be like showing off into other chicks and shit. Other chick might not like me. I'd be like, get the other, this other chick likes me. Another bitch doesn't like me. Yeah, I can tell the bitch doesn't want to say nothing to me. She doesn't like me. She has her nose up in the air. She just does not like me at all. And I'll fucking show off in front of this chick or, like, be so indirect that it goes to the other chick, you know? That this bitch wants to punch me in the face. I know inside her mind that they want to do that, you know? Like, <laughs> I had one where she came up and was trying to talk to me and I, her friend asked her to do something for me. You already know what that was. It was a fuck no. He was like, no. This bitch ain't gonna help even if it's her friend asking her. And this chick she's known for years. You get what I'm saying? And I'm like, and I go up and say, uh, I was like, she's like, I need a sandwich baggie because I had something I need to put uh, in. You get what I'm saying? And she's like, there's sandwich bags in the uh, thing. I was like, I was like, uh, and it wasn't. It was, uh, it was tree. You get what I'm saying? And uh, the tree, right? I was, like, holding it in my hand so she knew I was about to ask for a tree. I was like, she's like, yo, can you go where the sandwich baggies are? And I was a chick. The chick goes to answer a friend's question. I was like, and she's, like, still stalling to answer the question. And her friend's all fucked up drunk. Or at least tipsy as fuck because I was kind of hugging her. So the other chick's right. She, she's, like, uh, about to be asked a question. She's like, can you go inside and get a sandwich baggie for Mike? And she's, like, um, trying to think of something. I'm like, I said, I'm making a sandwich. Put a sandwich in it. This <laughs> bitch did not want to say nothing to me at all. She didn't say nothing to me. I asked her to take a picture of me. She said, my, my fucking uh, man wouldn't like that. And he was locked up and shit. I was like, I don't care, yo. I do shit like that. Like, I'm going to take a picture with you. I took a picture with another fucking chick's wife. One another dude's wife that night and shit. Both of them, actually. But I was going to take a picture by, with just me and her. I was like, yo, let me get this picture with you and shit. I asked his wife to chill before they even got married and shit, but like two two years ago. That when I was with my friend Tyler and shit, I was like, yo, you got a car and shit. I was like, let's go pick this chick up, yo. She's like, can I check a rain check? And when I finally met her, she was like really nice and shit. Like one of the ones like sitting there and she's like finally turns to you to talk to you and she's like happy. Like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like for the first time, like two years later. Shit like that. And that was, just, it was a whole entire year after that. It's been two years now. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed another video of The Dimensionalist. Remember, uh, that's one chick that just messaged me. Bring that right there. Uh, remember, I'm a dimensionalist. Check out Major League Rapping clo clothing line. Check out the links below. Uh, I know I'm going to be sporting Major League Rapping gear. I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to be fucking, like, flying it and shit. And y'all are not going to like that shit when I'm on fucking stream sitting back and shit in my fucking gear. You feel me? So... You'll need to hit that up. Be the first one to do that. You do a video on it. I'll fucking send. I'll put it on fucking the Dimensionless channel. And if you got a channel, I'll fucking uh, help send you fucking some subscribers. I'll be like, yo, check this dude's channel out and shit. You know, shout you out. But other than that, I hope y'all join another video of the Dimensionless. Remember, Major League Rapping, G.G. Jamario, G. DiMaggio, Goon DiMaggio, uh, Geek Gangster Jamario, 6-0, six, oh, 6 ounce, 757-706. Uh, uh, GA to VA, everywhere back from VA to GA, uh, and I'll give y'all a quick rap, spit that, shit's facts, like, when I speak them, delete them off a computer, and I make sure I enter and mute her, and make sure she shuts up, 
Yeah. And what the fuck? These knuckles go to bust. Either you're gonna ante up or knuckle up. Yeah, and I throw them. Yeah, and it's blown, thrown, broken to your bones. Yeah, inside your rib cage when I spit insane. <laughs>